Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dearly beloved, for as much as marriage is a holy estate, ordained of God, and to be held in honor by all, it becomes those who enter therein to weigh with reverent minds what the Word of God teaches concerning it. Our Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him an helpmate for him. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Have you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female and said, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Wherefore they are no longer two, but one flesh. But therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. The Apostle Paul, speaking by the Holy Spirit, says, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. He that loves his wife loves himself, for no man ever yet hateth his own flesh, but nourishes it even as the Lord the church. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And although by reason of sin, many a cross has been laid thereon, nevertheless our gracious Father in heaven does not forsake his children in an estate so holy and acceptable unto him, but is ever present with his abundant blessing. Nolan Green, wilt thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her so long as you both shall live? If so, answer by saying, I will. Leola Peterson, wilt thou have this man to be thy wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him, so long as you both shall live? If so, answer by saying, I will. Congregation may be seated.
Ephesians, the third chapter, Paul writes these words. For this reason I fall on my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth receives its true name. I ask God from the wealth of his glory to give you power through his Spirit to be strong in your inner selves. And I pray that Christ will make his home in your hearts through faith. I pray that you may have your roots and foundation in love. These words are a beautiful and a moving prayer by the Apostle Paul for the people of the church at Ephesus, those whom he knew well and whom he loved very much. And it has become a prayer for all of God's people in all ages. This afternoon we apply it, Nolan, and Leola, to your situation as you stand before God's altar to speak your wedding vows. It becomes very personally a prayer for your marriage. First, I ask God from the wealth of his glory to give you power through his spirit to be strong in your inner selves. This is an act of God's grace. God, by his spirit, gave you new birth in your baptism. He has put faith in your hearts, and he has led you to know all of your life, him, and to receive his son as your Lord and Savior. Through all your life, he has continued faithful and kept you in the true faith. And now, as are you, you are joined in him, by him in marriage, God the Holy Spirit will continue to provide for you his grace, helping you to remain faithful to your promises to God and to one another, helping you to find and to do God's will in your married life together. As Christians, we are realistic, however. As you face the future together, you know that there will be pressures from the world, tensions with within you and frictions between you and in yourself you are to be renewed in Christ and yet this newness in Christ will know weariness and edginess and fretfulness but always remember the Holy Spirit is at hand to strengthen to revive and to refresh you and secondly in the words of Paul I pray that Christ will make his home in your hearts through faith, that you may have your roots and foundation in love. For you are rooted and grounded in your love for one another, and this is good. But to find your most complete unity and best support for the burdens, the responsibilities, and the joys of marriage, we need to be rooted and grounded in a greater love, God's love. God's love as we see it in Christ is a complete giving of oneself for the sake of the loved one. Not selfish, not demanding or critical, but free, helpful, and open. This love will serve, it will absorb hurt, it will forgive and share comfort and support. And this is the love that will be replenished from the resources of God's unboundless love. Thirdly, may the words of Paul to the church at Rome in the first chapter that he wrote be your words to each other. Then too, I need your help, for I want not only to share my faith with you, but to be encouraged by yours. Each of us will be a blessing to the other. So my prayer for you, Leola and Nolan, on this day of your wedding, is that the Lord, as he has helped you in the past, as he has shared with you in the past, as he has encouraged and blessed you in the past, may he continue to do the same in the future, as he also teaches you to help, share, encourage, and bless one another together. Let us pray. Almighty God, you made a man and a woman, and you joined them in marriage. 
and you tell us that this is like the union of your Son, Jesus Christ, with his bride, the Church. We ask you, don't let your holy work be set aside by anything we do. Bless Leola and Nolan and guide them by your Holy Spirit, that in every way they may do what pleases you and may live together to your glory. Let the word of Christ live richly in them and make their hearts and their home your home. Let them be united by a love that is in Christ so that they may never feel any change or doubt in their love. Bless them in each other and give them the forgiveness and patience to bear with one another, another's faults. Let even their troubles and pains bring them your blessing and growth in their Christian life together. So we thank you, O Lord, for the joy which your servants Nolan and Leola have found in each other. And we pray that you will continually look in favor upon them and grant that they, rejoicing in all your gifts, may at length celebrate with Christ the marriage feast, which has no end. In his name we pray. Amen. This time I'd like to have you repeat the vows to one another. I, Nolan, take you, Viola, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, according to God's holy ordinance, and there do I pledge you my trust. I, Leola, take you, Nolan, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, according to God's holy ordinance. And there too I pledge you my trust. May I have the ring, please? Let this be a token of your wedded love for one another. Join your right hands. For as much as Nolan and Leola have consented together in holy wedlock and have declared the same before God in the presence of this company, I pronounce them husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What God had joined together, let not man put asunder. The Lord God, who created our first parents and sanctified their union in marriage, sanctify and bless you, that you may please them both in body and soul, and live together in holy love until life's end.
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon your favor and give you peace.
first song we're going to sing is Let Me Be There. And uh, this is dedicated to them. Wherever you go, wherever you may wander, your life will start again. <laughs> Wherever you go, wherever you may wander in your life, surely you know I always want to be there. Hold in your hand and stand it by to catch you when you fall. See it you through in everything you do. Let me be there in your morning. Let me be there in your night. Let me change whatever's wrong and make it right. Take you to that wonderland that only two can share. All I ask you is let me be there. Watching you grow and going through the changes in your life. That's all I know. I always want to be there. Whenever you feel you need a friend to lean on, here I am. Whenever you call, you know I'll be there. Let me be there in your morning, let me be there in your night, let me change whatever's wrong and make it right, let me take you to that wonderland that only you can share, all I ask you is let me be there, let me be there in your morning, let me be there in your night, let me change whatever's wrong and make it right. Let me take you through that wonderland that only two can share. All I ask you is let me be there. Let me be there. All I ask you is let me be there. Let me be there. The next song we're going to do is one that means a lot to me and Steve and Jim and uh, especially Leola. It's one song that is. is it's called One Day at a Time. I think you'll understand when you hear the words what it means. I'm only two words. I'm just a man.
last thing we're going to do is, is kind of file it up here for us. Uh, we just like to bless Nolan and Leola and just, you know, wish them all the happiness in the world. And I know all of you would like to do that too. And, and uh, this song just express it all.
<laughs> well, let me have a wait, Brian. Get over here with Brian. We'll take your picture. How you take a picture? Go right. Here they come. Oh. Hey. Come on, Eddie. Everybody Go. pose. Are you ready, Tim? Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> Honey, stand up, my rice. Here, we're Dad. I got some extra rice. <laughs> Ann, cut draw the whole bag. Here, Dad. Here, Dad. Here, you want some rice? I got some. Watch out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.